dream of God. The dream is the vision of community and change happening. I'll tell you what, you are the temple of God. So in order for us to be able, we can live that dream because the dream is within us. I love speaking here because you guys, oh yes, holy Jesus. <laughs> um, but, uh, um, and so often we don't want to change in the church. We don't want to look at things differently, but we can if we're practicing things like justice and being gentle. God blesses those who are persecuted because they live for God. Just recently I had a pastor tell me that he felt that God was against me. And that Jesus was against me. He forgot the Holy Spirit, so that's cool. I'm good with him. And that my whole ministry was going to disintegrate and dissolve and be destroyed. Well, and, and the reason is, is because I, I, I came out in the church recently and said, you know what? I don't, I'm pro-gay marriage. I don't believe that that's a sin. <laughs> you know, I got Dane quiet. Everybody's like, I ain't saying no now. I guess we're not ready for this yet, are we? It, it, it's hard for me when people who've been through such persecution and, and been judged against, all of a sudden, they don't want freedom for anybody else. We got to start living it, folks. That's why it's a narrow road. That's why it gets quiet in a church where everybody was hooting and hollering five minutes ago. So maybe you'll get mad and go home and yell, but maybe eventually you'll get over it and you'll realize that you might not agree with me, but at least you can learn to love me. Martin Luther King said, it is not the words of your enemies that you will remember, but the silence of your friends. That's why I could no longer be silent. Because I love my friends. Um.